Hi, my name is Sally Marie Gimmon, and I want to say thank you for coming to my website. I want to teach as many Americans uh, how to get out of debt. Because back in November 2021, I read an article from bankrate.com that said 80% of all Americans have more than $90,000 in debt and are not saving 10% for retirement. Those are some very ugly numbers. And at that time, I was still working as a Medicare broker. I uh, was open enrollment, and when people turn 65, or if they already are on Medicare, they can switch their plans. I can't tell you how many people I spoke to every single day who were only depending on Social Security. I would like to help people get out of debt and may have more options because I was able to do this. So let me share my uh, screen. This slide deck is available at www.learnwithsallymarie.com. Every slide is going to have a click through so you can uh, get the information because I want to share this information with as many people as possible. Thank you for coming. Now my true story, back in October, 2018, my oldest nephew got married in Charlotte, North Carolina. My mom and dad drove from Goodyear, Arizona to the Charlotte area, Goodyear's 20 miles west of Phoenix. Along the way, my mom got dehydrated and she got septic of the blood. She was on a ventilator for 13 months in a hospital for 15 months. I was living in Phoenix, going out to their house uh, three times a week to do the mail. First weekend in, in December, uh, there was a letter that was 27 pages thick. It was my mother's Medicare statement for the first month in the hospital. When I opened it up in big, bold letters, it said it was $172,000. Yikes. Thank God my dad was a retired military officer. They had TRICARE for life. My mom was getting the best service possible. I'm standing in my parents' kitchen in shock because right then and there, November of 2018, I knew I was $184,000 in debt and working a job that I hated. I was a Medicare broker and ugh, I hated that job. People yelled at you. Right there in my parents' kitchen, I called my friend Glenn on my cell phone and he had invited me to a real estate meeting in uh, August of 2018, and I said, open enrollment's going to be happening. Glenn answered the phone, and he said, Sally, next weekend, we're having a, a Christmas party. Bring a dish and a $5 gift. Well, I got a $5 uh, lavender candle without knowing that uh, mo uh, the majority of real estate investors are men, and they don't want a candle. So I got my, I gifted myself back, but I joined the real estate group. So let's go ahead and get this started. Again, I told you about the article from bankrate.com. That 80%, that could be your mother, it could be your brother, it could be your best friend, it could be somebody you know at work. The 90% in debt could be mortgage payments, car payments, credit card payments, student loan debt, or even uh, medical payments or anything else. And retirement. I can't tell you how many seniors I spoke to while I was a Medicare broker for 22 months who only depend on Social Security and no other form of uh, money. That, that's a scary, scary thought. Average Social Security while I was working there was $1,200. I don't know how people can live with that little. Now, um, I have used these five steps in different uh, orders. So I'm trying to put it into the simplest order for you. So please follow along. I'm trying to get my nonprofit status. I don't have it just yet. So the first step is two simple questions from Bob Proctor, Sandy Gallagher Institute. I am a student of uh, Thinking Into Results uh, by Bob Proctor. Uh, actually, Sandy Gallagher uh, worked it out. My coach, Susan Ma, has been a fantastic influence for me. The first question, can you physically do this? December 6, December 6 of 2016, as I was going into work at 8 o'clock at night for a, a state farm, I tripped over a boulder that did not have a light on it, and I messed up my back. L3 and L4 went one way, L5 went the other way. And I was on painkillers for 18 months. I could not physically do this back in 2016. Thank God I am so much better and I am able to do, I'm able to tie my own shoelaces. That's, I thank God every day for that. Please have an uh, attitude of uh, uh, gratefulness. The second question is, do you want to do this? I can't tell you how many things I have done and I sign up for and I don't do it. This is, you've got to answer yes to both questions. With this circle of wealth, you can decide which steps you want to do. If you want to do all of them or just maybe partial of one or partial of two, it is your decision. 
So that's the first step. Easy peasy, you just have to answer questions. Step two is a little bit different. Step two used to be the gift giving tree. They have switched over to crypto. So I'm gonna ask you to email me because I'm gonna place you correctly on the board. It's gonna be one time, $10 and three recruits. Person one's $10, person two's $10, person three's $10. So you're going to pay somebody $10. I paid Veronica uh, $10. My first person paid me my $10 back. And then person two and person three, $10, $10, puts me up to stage one, level two, where I where people are uh, going to be paying me uh, $20 a piece. Yes, I'm going to be clear on this. This is a pyramid. It is a pyramid. Everyone has done the exact same thing. Some people are not comfortable with this. I completely understand. But with what we're going to do here, you're going to make so much money so easily. Um, I, I don't know why you wouldn't do this. One time, $10. When I started this, I did not buy a Little Caesars cheese pizza to watch football. By the way, I just watched football yesterday and it was ugly. I'm a, a Patriots fan. Ugh, we're not going to discuss that. So now this is step two. Step two, part B, is um, going to be $100. Again, how you're being gifted the whole way through this, you're, all you're going to do is one time, $10 and nothing else. When you finish step two, level one and level two, you'll have $900 in your pocket or in your bank account. Congratulations. This is not tax-free. This is crypto. If you're in the United States, if you take profits, you are going to have to pay between 10% to 37%, depending on your tax bracket for short-term capital gains. I have a solution for that in step five, but please remember this is crypto and you will have to pay capital gains. Now, uh, still step two, but level three, it's going to be $1,000. Uh, by the time you get done with uh, level three, you'll have $19,000 in your pocket or in your bank account because you did one time $10 and you got three recruits. Now your three recruits are gonna get three people themselves, three people themselves, three people themselves. It is a pyramid. That's all I'm gonna say about this. When you get done with step two, if you wanna do this, you will have made over $20,080. It's not tax-free, but $20,080. If you go through this, uh, this system three times in one year, you will make over uh, $60,000. The average American working 40 hours a week, maybe they're a truck driver, maybe they're uh, working at a doctor's office, maybe they're a teacher. The average Amer American working 40 hours a week makes $53,000. What if you do go through this system three times in one year, you'll make more money than the average American. Again, if you want to do this, please email me at hello, learn with Sally Marie. I will place you correctly on the board. I will make sure you're you're going to uh, set up be set up correctly. And again, the only thing you're going to have to do is check your email, check your bank account, and make sure things are going correctly. If you want to do step two, fantastic. If you don't want to do step two, I completely understand. Let's go to step three. Uh, uh, whoops, I forgot about this slide. This slide is going to give you the overview about this. Again, one one time, ten dollars, three recruits, and you'll make twenty thousand eighty dollars. Now, step three, I have three different businesses that you can start up very inexpensively and start up be either be a consumer or be an affiliate. It is your choice. No one's going to twist your arm one way or the other. So let's go to the first one, Sally Sil Silver. Um, oops. If you can see this, this is a silver coin. It's from New South Wales. There's a kangaroo on the front of the coin. And there is, a, as I drop it, that's not good. That's kind of funny. I shouldn't have dropped the coin. Let's get that out of there. And there is a lion on the back of the coin. Uh, this is a one ounce silver coin that gets mailed to you once a, once a month. You can have one ounce, four ounce, uh, you get one coin, four coins, 20 coins, 30 coins, your decision. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but silver is a commodity. It's in our cell phones. It was in my mother's pacemaker. It is in solar panels. It is in um, electric cars. Silver is a commodity. You can keep these silver coins or give them out. This picture of it's a great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. I bought uh, these coins for Christmas last year. And I gave each one of my uh, nieces, nephews, and brothers and sister-in-laws a silver coin so that they would be in the trust. Also, when you buy a silver coin, they will uh, give money to uh, feed the hungry. It's a fantastic thing. 
Usually a silver coin is about $32, $33. It's your choice. If you decide to be a consumer, fantastic. If you want to sign up as an affiliate to get paid for selling silver, that's uh, that's also going to be something you can do. Again, this is 100% your decision. No one's telling you. Step three. Whoops, because I hit the, I hit the, drop my silver coin. It's not working. Step three is the transit card. This is only available, oh, by the way, let me go back here. Step one and step two, step two and step three, the Sally Still Silver, available anywhere in the world. Step three is just for Americans, a transit card. This card is just $25. You put money on it, and every time you spend the card, uh, you use the card, you will get one Z buck per dollar spent. If you sign up before uh, November 1st, you will get $2, $2 Z, uh, Z points every time, every month. Now you can set up as just a consumer, with just the card, or you can have a digital uh, digital office. That is about $495 where you make 1% off of everybody. So give you an idea, if someone puts about $400 on this card, they use it to buy gas, they use it to buy groceries, and they go out to dinner once a month. They put $400 on this and they will have 400 Z bucks. With those Z bucks, they will be able to spend those Z bucks on anything they want. In uh, August, I uh, use my Z-Bucks to buy Tide Podcasts, a container of Tide Podcasts, and four tubes of toothpaste. Paid for it with my Z-Bucks and paid for the shipping with my Z-Bucks. No out-of-pocket costs. Fantastic. In November, when it goes live, they will have everything online for you. Again, uh, if you want to do this, fantastic. If you don't want to do this, fantastic. Just to give you an idea, if you set, sign up for a digital marketing office, you will make 1% off of everyone you bring into the transit card. So again, with that $400 per month that someone spends on their Z card, you will make $4. Hey, it's extra money in your pocket, 100% your choice. Now, the third business I have is United Financial Freedom. This is a system to help you pay off your 30-year mortgage in five to seven years with no increase in income. Uh, you get paid to tell others how to pay off their debt. I have actually used this system on my own. Uh, I, I'm going to call it, uh, 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 I forget what it's called, to pay off my car in 10 months. This is Today I'm doing this on October 2nd and uh, student loans are coming back into, do, uh, into, uh, into everything. If you have debt, mortgages, student loans, car payments, medical payments, there is a cost to do this system. If you are a real estate investor, they will help you pay off your mortgage on the system even faster. There is a cost to do this if you want to do it. There is, uh, there is a small fee if you want to start uh, recruiting other people to start uh, selling this too. Fantastic system. It's great. Now, step four is just for Americans. Um, I have made more money in real estate than I have in any place else. I am going to invite you when you go back to step, when you're done with step two, whoops, let's go all the way back to step two. When you're done with step two and made $20,800, I'm going to ask you to spend $2,000 for that to start, if you want to get involved with real estate, to get the 11 essential classes. These 11 classes, my national real estate group, everyone has watched these 11 classes. Um, you always will have them. You can watch them on your cell phone or you can watch them on your computer. And every Monday night, when it's not a holiday, every Monday night, the instructor will either talk about the first half of the class or the second half of the class. Your, your responsibility is to have, have watched that class so you can ask the instructor questions. They're there to answer your questions. If you don't want to be a real estate investor, you do not have to do step four. Again, I have made so much money being a real estate investor. I want to share um, the bounty of being a real estate investor. So thank you. Step five, this is where I spend most of my time. The trust is you. This is an amazing spendthrift trust that saves you in four very important ways. Number one, you're going to save federal taxes year after year, generation after generation. Number two, you're going to keep your information completely private. Your LLC or S Corp does not do this. I can write a freedom of information letter to the Department of, uh, to the Secretary of State or the Corporation Commission and ask for all the information. Number three, I can't stop you from being sued, but you will not pay any judgments if you get sued. If you have rental property and someone's dog gets loose and bites somebody, they can turn around and sue you. This has saved my clients thousands of dollars. 
And number four, uh, January 1st, 2024, the Corporation Transparency Act is going to come out, uh, go into effect. With this new act, there's going to be a lot of paperwork. And if you have the trust, you will know you will not have to worry about that paperwork. That's a very important reason. Now, there are four different trusts that I'm going to talk about. The uh, first trust is going to be the business trust. If you are a business owner or a 1099 income earner, I can say you are going to save at least 70% on your federal taxes every year. That's before you take deductibles. Most of my clients are saving between 90 to 95% on their federal taxes. I personally saved 92% in 2022. I only had to pay 8% of my 1099 income to the fed, uh, federal government legally. That's amazing. Again, uh, th this is going to help you save money. To give you an idea, uh, one of my clients who has two pizzerias here in the Charlotte area, he and his wife file jointly. They make about $15,000 per month. Uh, they file jointly and they're at 22% tax rate. At 70%, they're going to save at least $21,000 every single year. In 2024, they're going to open a third location. And in 2025, they're going to open a, a fourth location. They're going to work for, uh, up until 2020, uh, 2033. When they retire, they'll leave two pizzerias to one child, two pizzerias to another child. They will, the children will not pay inheritance tax, and they too will save uh, 1099 income year after year after year. If I can help you save federal taxes, I invite you to make an appointment with me at info at, at, at uh, thetrustisyou.com slash scheduling. It's a free 30 minute tax breakthrough session. That's the first trust. The second trust is the beneficial trust. This is for all investors. If you are an investor, you will no longer pay short-term capital gains or long-term capital gains. Interest income, dividend income, rental income, or royalties. Year after year, generation after generation. Again, you're going to save federal taxes, keep your information 100% private, you will pay no judgments if you're sued, and you will not fi uh, fill out that paperwork for the 2024 Corporation Transparency Act. This is amazing. You could have one trust, you could have two trusts, whichever way you like to do it. Most of my clients go with one or the other trust, whatever's best for them. So that's uh, the business trust is for 1099 income earners. The beneficial trust is for investors. The third trust is a charitable trust. This is for anybody for, uh, who has a 501c3. I'm in the process of getting www learn with Sally Marie to be uh, done this way. Because what I'm going to do is get uh, $10,000 per month in Google Grant ads, and I'll never have to pay that back. I want to teach as many people to, to get out of debt as possible. 80% of Americans are have more than $90,000 in debt. I have a huge pool to talk to. So again, this is a charitable trust. You do not need to have this to have a 501c3 compliant, but this money will go through the charitable trust and save you uh, federal taxes. Beautiful thing. And then the fourth trust is a very special trust for people who are seniors over the age of 65. Um, IRMA is income-related adjustable amount retirement uh, uh, that the IRS looks at. Every October, they're going to, uh, the IRS is going to go back two years to look at anyone who's on Medicare to see if they have made more than $91,000 in a year. This includes anything and everything from wages, social security payments, 401k uh, uh, disbursements, uh, SEP disbursements, pensions, capital gains, interest income, dividend income, rental income, or royalties. This October, 2023, the federal government is going to be looking at uh, people who were on uh, Medicare in 2021. If I can help you save money to, with the uh, the senior trust, this is what is called a blind trust. The senior has their own bank account and somebody else is the trustee. A lot of seniors don't like this, so we do have solutions. Again, there's a business trust for 1099 income earners, the beneficial trust for investors, the charitable trust for nonprofits, and the senior trust for people who are on Medicare. All of these trusts are amazing. The trust is legal, patented in the IRS tax code 643B. It comes from England way back when King Henry VIII started the Church of England. The law firm I work on behalf of has a trust that is turning 350 years old in 2023. Now, I think the most important real estate anywhere in the world 
are the six inches between your head, between your ears. I'm going to ask you to please uh, start reading some of these books. You can listen to them on, 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 on your cell phone. Um, I, I actually read uh, Think and Grow Rich or listen to Think and Grow Rich. It's only about two hours, uh, at least once a week, uh, once a month on um, when I go for my walks. All these books have helped me personally uh, to get a better mindset to be able to do what I do. I love my job. I help people save money year after year, generation after generation. Again, my name is Sally Marie Gimmon. My older brother named me after a cat, Sa uh, Sally the cat. She was a feral cat who hated me. My mom, who was from Ireland, uh, all firstborn daughters must be named Mary. So my full name is Sally Marie. Uh, the website is learnwithsallymarie.com slash scheduling. If you need to reach out to me, it's hello at Learn with Sally Marie. I go live every Monday, 4 p.m. East Coast time in my Facebook group, which is Learn with Sally Marie. Thank you for watching this video. I hope I can help you save money and get out of debt as fast as possible. The more options you have, the better off you are. Debt causes people to have heart trouble. They don't let, uh, you don't sleep well, and it causes more divorces than any other reason other than cheating. If I can help you start paying down debt, maybe you want to do step one and one, uh, one of the activities in step three. Maybe you want to do step one, uh, two activities in step three, and start with step four. Whatever you want to do, I am here to help you to teach you how to say, pay down debt as fast as possible. I personally paid off $184,000 in debt. That was my mortgage. That was student loans. That was uh, credit card debt. And it was two car payments. My brand new car, I had it for three weeks. I, would, I was going to work at, in the morning. It was 7.45 in the morning. I was the second car going through uh, Indian School uh, Road, major east-west uh, road in Phoenix, when a gentleman who was drunk and high and had no insurance ran the red light and T-boned me on my passenger side. Two car payments. I was living paycheck to paycheck. I was able to pay down all my debt in three and a half years, and now I want to help others do this. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a beautiful time. Uh, you know, again, do what you want to do. I'm not going to tell you you have to do all five steps. Take care. Thank you for watching.